Hi again, this is Greg Hughes with another video tutorial. You know, 90 Second Website Builder is a drag and drop design platform, which means you can essentially put objects on your web page pretty much anywhere you want, within reason, of course. And what happens is when you have this privilege or this luxury, you want to also be able to line things up straight. And there are several tools that allow you to do that. One set of such tools is under the View menu. Under this menu, you'll see some features called the Guide Settings and Ruler Settings. Now, the rulers are these, obviously, these numbers here at the top and along the side of the page, which I refer to a lot. And I like to keep the rulers on as I'm designing. Of course, you can turn them off if you want to, but I rarely find a need to do that. But you can if they're in your way. But some of these other settings can be very, very handy, and I'm going to show you what they are. Now, we can turn them on and off here up in this area. We can also just click on the Guide Settings button and bring up this window where we can make our selection here. So let's break it down now a little bit to what these settings are. First of all, you can turn on and off the grid. Right now, I don't have a grid on, as you can see. I'm going to click this button, and now you'll see, if you can see in the video, I have tiny little dots behind these objects that are on my canvas. And these dots make up a grid that I can use for lining things up. But it's more than just having a grid. I can actually snap to the grid, which means when I drag objects around, they will snap to the nearest line of dots. This just helps me line things up and keep them in order. Without this on, I can move objects freely between the grid. If that's what I want to do, I can. But if I want to snap to the grid, I select that option. So the grid is great. And the grid can actually be edited. If you go to the guide settings, you'll notice that we're using a grid type of dots. We can change the color of that to any color we want. The other kind of grid is one called columns, and you can use that if you prefer. You can also change the spacing of these dots, both horizontally and vertically. But there's more to it than just a grid. You'll notice that some of the other settings we have are called guides. Now, if we want to use ruler guides, here's all we do. We check this box, on. And now we can make guides. Now, guides are just simply horizontal and vertical lines that we can run across our canvas to use as a straight edge. They're not seen on the finished web page. They're only used in design mode. Here's how it works. If I wanted to create a horizontal guide, I would just go up to the ruler, and you can see my cursor changes. And now I'm clicking my mouse and dragging one down into the space of the canvas. And when I let go, you'll see that I've created a guide. This is a horizontal guide. If I wanted to make a vertical guide, I would go over to the vertical ruler, click on it, and just drag a line out to wherever I want on the canvas and let go. And now I have two guides. These are guides that I can use to line things up. Again, if we preview what we've done, you can see that the end user would not see this on the website. No grid shows and no guide show. They're just for design mode. The other thing you can do with guides is you can snap to them. Again, we click the snap button. And now as we move our objects around, we can actually snap them to the guides. First of all, if we put the guides on the grid, and then we go to snap our images, they'll line up exactly where we want. This is really handy if you want your things to line up just mathematically perfectly. But it's also nice to know that you can turn all of this off and move something exactly precisely where you want it to go on the page. So you have the option of doing both. And then there's another feature called Smart Guides. Now, Smart Guides are great because if you turn this on, the software is going to make some suggestions for you as you're dragging objects around. So for example, I've got Smart Guides on, as you can see right here. If I was to drag this object around, watch what the software does. It's going to create a guide. It's showing me here's a good place to put this because it's looking at it in relationship to this other image. In fact, if I go down here, you'll notice that it stops me and says, look, here's a good place to drop this image because it lines up with another image across the top. And in fact, if I keep going, the smart guide will appear here, which tells me this would be a good place to put this image if you want it centered with the other one. So these automatically appear, and that's why they're called smart, and they can be used as a suggestion as to where to drop your image. So it's kind of a good thing to leave on if you're trying to be really precise and get things lined up just right. You can make as many guides as you want. Anytime you want one, you drag one over from either ruler, and you can make all of the guides you want to work with so that you can 
line things up. Also under the ruler guides button, if you click on this, you can actually format your ruler guides very specifically. As we make our ruler guides, they appear here. We have one at position number 60, these are the horizontals, and we have one at position number 96, right here. If we wanted to adjust these, we could, or we could add them here numerically. We could go like this, add one at position 100, and watch what happens. I click OK, OK, and you'll see another one was added down here in position 100. Let me move it here. Now I've moved it down. Let's go up to the ruler guides, format ruler guides, and you can see I actually moved it and so it became a guide at position 181. The same is true for our vertical guides. So you can adjust them to be very precise by using this feature. Also, if they're in your way and you want to get rid of all of them, you simply clear all the ruler guides and they're gone. Again, the guide settings are used to set all of these features up in one convenient place. You can format your ruler guides here, which is just a shortcut to where we were. You can turn on and off snapping to ruler guides. You can decide to display the ruler guides on top of your images or your objects instead of behind. You can have the software show tool tips while you're resizing and moving objects, as well as several other really convenient features that help you line things up on the grid and on your canvas. Probably the thing I like to do the most is I leave my grid off. I don't need to see the dots. Sometimes I'll turn it on. I like to leave the snap to grid off but I'll leave my rulers on. I also do like smart guides, so I'll leave them on. And I'll also leave my ruler guides on because once in a while I'll drag one out and use it, but then when I'm done with it, you can either drag it back or go up and turn them off. But I find these features are very customizable. You can use them the way you want to use them, if you want to use them, to help your objects line up better and just make your websites look overall better in 90 Second Website Builder.